Remember the last video where we took the nice epic sports sequence? In this video, I show you how to put everything together in Photoshop. I opened Bridge already and if you don't know Bridge yet, you know it. Now it's a great program to just have a look at your images, to just sort them and then to edit. They look or it looks something like Lightroom but it's much faster and it's not for editing, it's only for sorting and organizing your images. And I can now choose between all the images I took from Timothy making a nice boom dunking. <laughs> so I will now just go through the images and if you don't have Bridge yet, you can get it when you have the Adobe Photography plan. Um, you have Photoshop, you have Lightroom and then you have as well somewhere down below Adobe Bridge CC. I have to update it, I see it right now. But anyway, it will work. So you can then open just by dragging an image from a folder onto the bridge symbol if you're using a Mac. If you're not using a Mac, you can just go through your folders, like here, computer, now it's on untitled, that is my SD card that is in the computer and there are the images. And with the arrow keys, I will now go through the images and I will look now for a nice sequence and I look at it from a point of view that I can see it not only from one image but from a whole sequence perspective. So if he's, for example, making some move um, not so nice like this one here, then I won't take the whole sequence. But what I like here is this photo because it's very dynamic and he has some nice movement. I can, if I have everything photographed very good from the tripod, use different sequences and try to put them together, but I won't do it now in this video, so I just will do one normal sequence. And here you can see the ball actually poof, <laughs> hit my camera, <laughs> so I had to um, redo the whole scenery and there the horizon is tilted a bit, but we will fix that later in post. So I will now just take those images and I tested it already, so you can see those images have five stars already. You can just do it by taking the first image, so the, the sequence actually starts here, but I don't use or need the plain image, I need Timothy in the first image and there he's half, there he's uh, leg cut off and here he's total in the frame, so that will be the first image of the sequence. And the last image of the sequence is here, where he's done with the dunk. So this is the last image. So what I will do now, I, I clicked on this image and I click with the hold it shift button on this image. And there you can see 12 elements are now picked. And those 12 elements I drag now onto Photoshop. If you can't drag it, if you don't use a Mac computer, uh, hit the right mouse button and then open in Photoshop. And as you can see now, Camera Raw is opened and I love Camera Raw because it's much faster than Lightroom and you can do actually all the same stuff that you do in Lightroom. So I use a lot of times this to batch edit images and yeah, to just do a whole nice adjustment series on a lot of images. So I will now do some simple adjustments like contrast, like shadows a bit up because I want some more details in the shadows and just vibrance a bit up. I photographed everything in RAW, I could have photographed it in JPEG, if you photographed it in JPEG it's actually an advantage for you now because you don't have to do that step that I do now, but I have to convert the images now to JPEGs because then it's much faster to edit them later. So I just edited the first image and I will now hit the shift button again, hold it, go to the last image and select all the images, right mouse click and now sync settings. Click OK and now all the settings are synced to all the images you have open here. Now click save images and that is important, that is amazing, a lot of people don't know that you actually can save images out of camera raw, a lot of people open that and then they have to edit them for sure and then they save them, you can batch save them like in Lightroom uh, in Camera Raw. So I will now select a folder and I will make a new folder and I will just name it uh, English Video. Okay, select 
and now I can just call it sport and JPEG in full quality color space stays like this I don't want to resize it but I want to sharpen it full screen in standard so if you have not checked it yet check it now and go on save I see you back in a few seconds all the images are saved now as JPEG files I just click done I will just stay in Photoshop and now I will speed the whole game a lot up. I go on File, I go on Scripts, I go on Load Files into Stack. This is an amazing feature because if you don't do it like this, you have to open every of the 12 images manually and then drag them over each other that you get different layers. With this method here, I just do one click, open. I will do attempt to automatically align source images, click OK, and now you can see it now did all the images just like I wanted it to be as layers under each other. But um, two of the images are wrong, so Sport 10 needs to be somewhere at the bottom and sport 11 as well so because those are the last files i don't know why the program does it like this and why i cannot why i cannot drag it underneath but anyway so 8 9 10 11 that is important now i will just hit shift again and mark all of the images again and now i will just go on darken this is actually not important but <laughs> this is just there that i can see all the images now how it would look like if i would just do it like this with all the images i have now here so you can actually take it like this but it's not perfectly because the contrasts are not right and everything but you get a nice overview how it would look so what i will do now i will take the first image and I will just leave it like it is but I will now just disable the second image I will disable the fourth image and so on and so on because then you can see the distance is bigger and it looks more amazing boom dunking is done and maybe I take no, this one is not so cool. I will take this one, even though uh, the lag is in the other lag, but I will show you how to put everything together, even if you have a lag in lag situation <laughs> like you have here right now. So what you can do now, you can just delete all the files that you disabled. Just hit Command on a Mac or STRG on a Windows computer and then just take the files and drag them onto the rubbish bin. Now you can see all the files are now over each other. What I will do now, I will just change the whole sequence. So the first image will go to the bottom and then from there on the other images will go upwards. And this is important because I want to work from left to right. You can work from right to left as well, but I prefer it like this. So now every image is over the first image. So this is the first image and then every image is over each other. And that is later good to blend the different images. I will now again hit shift and hold it and mark all my different images and go back to normal in the blending mode that I just get the normal images. And as you can see, now on top layer is Spore 10 and it, and it just makes everything invisible which is underneath. So what I need to do now, I will just hit that image or the other images, does not matter, hit the Alt button and click on the layer mask down here. As you can see, now a black layer mask is attached to the image. Now I will do it with the next one. I will do it with the next one. Always click on it and then click. If you double click, then it looks something like that. This is wrong, so just hit Command Z and do some more. Okay, the last one we don't need because this is the bottom layer and it can stay like this, but all the other ones are invisible now because they have a black layer mask attached. And what a layer mask now works like when I draw with a white pencil or with a white color on the black layer mask, then I make the part that I draw on visible. So now in this situation, I go, oh, Timothy, he's very... I want to do the dunking! And now I do a right mouse button and just click on the image and I adjust the hardness of the brush. Of course, first you have to take the brush. I adjust the hardness of the brush to somewhere 
around 80, so pretty hard. And that is important because I want the edges very clean and not so soft. Maybe I need it softer for some parts of the image, but in general I don't want it to be soft. And of course opacity on 100%. Color should be white, that I draw with white on black now. And now I will do it a bit bigger. And I think he's somewhere here, so I will draw here. And as you can see, it's quite simple. Just draw, draw, draw till he's completely visible and try to not overdraw too much because then otherwise it might happen that you draw over parts of the image that you need later. You can always redraw and always undo things, but just do it not too big. Something like that looks perfectly, more of the knee. Go down here to the foot. And of course the shadow is important, so don't leave the shadow. All right, that looks good. Now we can go to the next image. And not click on the image itself, click on the layer mask. I think he's somewhere here. Yes. Okay. There he is. And I have no idea why, but in this image, even though everything has the same settings and same exposure time, same ISO, it's a bit darker. I have no idea why, but I will show you how to fix that in just a second. But first of all, let me draw him in the image. Ooh, he's up in the air already. So now not draw too much on his knee, because otherwise, whoops, his knee will disappear and we don't want that, so don't draw too close. Okay, then we need his shadow, somewhere down here. Okay, and this thing back. Okay, now as you can see, there's some edge around here. As mentioned, I have no idea why, because it should be the same um, brightness. But I will just take the hardness now down to zero. So it's a very soft brush now. And I will do the same, but now I will do it with a dark color, so black. And I will just go a bit closer and draw over the edges that I just blended in with a soft brush. As you can see, now it's blending. And don't worry if you just draw a bit, maybe on the head or on the back or somewhere. It won't be recognizable later. But the more accurate you do it, of course, the better it is. Something like this is totally fine. So now around the knee. Go down here. Okay, something like this. Go down here. As you've seen, now I just draw in black. But you don't actually see it. There's some more. There's some more. Okay, that looks pretty cool already. So we just fixed the different brightness levels. Now we take the next image and I will now speed it a bit up and we see us in the last Part. Of course, if you do it now, go back on the hardness level to 80 and you need the white color. Next image, next layer mask, let's go. in the last image and as you can see Timothy's leg will now be in the other leg so when I now draw like this it works okay but I overdraw in the other image so what I will do now I will go just like I did before um, with X you can switch fast between white and black I will go back on black I will now even put the hardness up to somewhere around 90. So very, very hard edge. Now we'll now just draw with the black close to the other leg. So now it will blend perfectly over each other and you won't even see that we did something. All right, just like this, that looks perfect. Then with the shadow, same thing, close to the foot, yeah, something like this, it's totally fine. 
Uh, there's something of the shadow missing, so I need to go back on white. Hardness level can go back somewhere around 80. Now we'll just draw the shadow in. There he is. There he is. Strange shadow. <laughs> okay. That's how we do it. Now, as you can see, everything is perfectly in an action sequence. I can now put all the layers into one new layer. And that is my favorite short key combination. Command, Alt, Shift and E together. <laughs> now you can see we have a new layer on top. And with that new layer now, you don't have to do the new layer, but I like to just sum it up on a new layer. I will now crop the whole image a bit down that we don't get that much of a blue sky and as well here in the right hand corner um, is nothing so it's not that interesting so cropping a bit in would be a good idea cropping a bit in here as well and now I will just straighten the horizon line and you can do it with that tool here it's an amazing tool I will just go here on the sidewalk and do it like this straight line release it now everything is leveled click back on any symbol click crop and now it's cropped almost done one last thing i recognize is a dust spot here in the left hand corner so what i will do now i will go on that tool here which looks something like a badge or something and then i will just draw a line or actually a circle around the dust spot release it now you have that uh, marching ant line there and i will just press with the mouse and drag it somewhere where no dust spot is release it and boom dust spot is gone right and that is the final image an action sequence of timothy doing a boom dunking that was a long video, wasn't it? But it's an amazing effect. And if you haven't seen the video where I take the photos, check it out. You find the link in the description below. If you want to learn more about photography, check out learnfromben.com. This is my website. There we get video courses about landscape photography, but as well about image editing like this in Photoshop. Learnfromben.com. And I see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Bye bye.